the U.S. is now bracing for war. What we are hearing from many U.S. officials is that the United States has never been at a higher risk than we are at right now. Not only do we have wars or little regional conflicts going on, obviously, between Russia and Ukraine, which the United States is involved in, and then we got this, this conflict between Israel and Hamas, Israel and Lebanon, Israel and Iran. And then the United States is now being looked at from Iran as the target. I want to break down what's going on and why some experts say that World War III is just right around the corner. So I'll break all this down in just a moment. But all I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So is World War III right around the corner? Well, that's the big question. But are any of the countries that are involved in these regional conflicts and these regional wars, are any of those countries trying to de-escalate the situation? Well, according to reports, yes. The United States is calling for a de-escalation. Just look at this. It says U.S. calls for de-escalation as Iran claims right to self-defense after Israeli strikes. Now, here's what you need to keep in mind. The first thing that happened was Iran targeted Israel. Okay, they sent 180 ballistic missiles into Israel, uh, took the life of one person, but it didn't cause excessive amount of damage. Then a week or two later, Israel decided to retaliate against Iran. This just happened this past week. And what we learned was it didn't do much. It was very minimal. And one of the reasons why it could have been very minimal is because Israel wanted to somewhat de-escalate the situation, but at the same time respond to that initial attack. Well, look at this. It says, satellite photos show Israeli strike likely hit important Iran Revolutionary Guard missile base. Now, I want to read a little bit of this article to you. It says the damage at the base in uh, Sharud raises new questions about the is about Israel's attack early Saturday, particularly as it took place in an area previously uh, unacknowledged by Tehran and involved the Guard, a powerful force within Iran's uh, theocracy that so far has remained silent about any possible damage it suffered from the assault. Iran only has identified Israeli attacks as taking place in Lam, uh, Khuzestan, and Tehran provinces, not in rural Sam, uh, Samnan province where the base is located. It also potentially further restrains the guard's ability to manufacture the solid fuel ballistic missiles it needs to stockpile as a deterrent against Israel. Okay, so if this is true, Okay, according to multiple reports, it is true. This is a very important site that was just hit. If this is true, Iran is likely going to respond. But when they do respond, what is that response going to look like if this was the target? That's something we don't know. Now, here's the issue. Tehran now faces a tough choice about what to do next simply because they are in the middle of this, okay? Keep in mind, Israel was not going after Iran. Israel was going after uh, Hamas, okay, which is Iranian proxy, was going after Hezbollah, again, another Iranian proxy. It wasn't going after Iran directly. Iran only got in the middle of it, okay? After, you know, Israel was winning this, this regional war. Now, I want to show you this, though, because this is part of the problem. And I've warned about this before. Hezbollah sleeper cells are ready to strike UK and US in possible Iran retaliation, according to an ex-military chief. Now, why would Hezbollah decide to, uh, to attack the UK or the US? Simple. We are providing assistance to Israel. Israel is going after Hezbollah in Lebanon. So Hezbollah sleeper cells that we have already here in the United States, 
That's the concern. And I brought this up multiple times before that the concern that many experts have is that Hezbollah will is, is simply just waiting and will respond once Iran tells them it's go time. Now's the time. Okay, let's see. That's the problem. And one of the issues that we're facing is the timing of everything that's going on. Iran hasn't responded to the Israeli attack. Okay. But what is happening in less than one week? On November 5th, 2024, here in the United States, we have a presidential election. This could be one of the biggest elections we ever face in our lifetime. Who we choose okay, and what they do with the next four years is going to be monumental. Now, here's something I want to show you. Okay? It says, U.S. warns Iran of severe consequences in case of new attacks. This was just you know, announced the other day, about two days ago. Okay? Now, it says right here, the United States did not participate in this military operation. Rather, we encouraged the government of Israel to shape the operation as it did. Again, a targeted, proportional, and direct response to degrade Iran's ability to threaten its neighbors, deter further attacks, and reduce the risk of further escalation. Today, the United States' message for Israel remains clear. We will always help secure its people and territory from Iran and its terrorist proxies and partners. Our message for Iran remains clear as well. Should it choose to undertake further aggressive acts against Israel or U.S. personnel in the region, there will be severe consequences. We will not hesitate to act in self-defense. Key word there, act in self-defense. So only if Iran retaliates, then the United States would respond. Okay? Here's where things get very interesting. This war does not look like it's going to end anytime soon. The United States and uh, they, President Biden, U.S. officials have been warning and telling uh, Benjamin Netanyahu to de-escalate the situation. Continue to provide aid to the people of Gaza. Don't continue to uh, you know, attack other countries, other regions. Okay, just push that off. Let it go. Because only if this continues and we see attack after attack, it's only going to cost other countries more lives or potentially people in Israel, their life. What the United States doesn't want is this war to come back on us. However, it's looking more and more likely, which is one of the reasons why many U.S. officials say World War III is just right around the corner. All it takes is one thing of one miscommunication, one miscalculation, okay, one misinterpretation. That's all it takes. And then we have a world war on our hands. So we're going to see what happens moving forward. The one thing I can tell you, though, is exactly what the FBI and other U.S. officials have been saying for several months is that even until one month after the election, and then according to reports yesterday, up until Inauguration Day, which is January 20th, 2025, we are going to be in this, this uh, heightened risk environment. So just be prepared. And again, like police say, like the FBI has been saying, if you see something, say something. Because again, the risks against the United States, the threats against us are extremely high at the moment. So if we learn anything else, I promise I will bring you all the latest news and updates as soon as we get it. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next 